Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday, and it is uh, Baylor Bears. Let's start it off. We're in Waco, Texas. Baylor Bears are the number one men's basketball. Right, number one. Wow. I mean, uh, when they went to number two, that was the first time ever. So exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. They almost blew it, though, yeah, in I the agree. first game. But I agree. <clears throat> congratulations, guys. Congratulations, congratulations. Staying in Waco, we have in Waco the Fixer Upper. Yep. Chip and Joanna Gaines on HGTV. It is HGTV's number one show. And they are right around the corner from the backyard. We yes. have the backyard. They have the side. Well, we appreciate and, that. Yes, because everybody comes in there and they come over there and eat. Well, you know they got into some... Hot was, water? Uh, controversy <laughs> because where they go to church, their pastor does not believe in same-sex marriage. Blah, blah, blah. People get mad going, how can they go to church there? Look, I, I, I want to I say this. My dad is a pastor. Okay, He is. A Baptist pastor. If you believe in the Bible, if you read the Bible, that's what it says. God does not re recognize that, okay? Recognize. He don't damn you to hell, does he? No, he doesn't. He don't damn you to hell. It just said a man should not, never lay with the, another man. But does that mean there's so many interpretations yeah. that it gets misconstrued. But the deal is, you can't get mad at somebody for their beliefs. Now, I believe the same thing in the Bible. I was raised by the Bible. That doesn't mean our gay friend that we know forever who is married to another man, we don't we don't get upset. Not, not one bit. They're not disliked anymore. But you can't take other people... Going well, you go to a church that they don't believe where gay should get married, or it, my question is, what sin's worse than another? There ain't one. There ain't one. That's all I gotta say. There ain't one. And most people who cast those stones, it's you, 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 you just, you just <clears throat> finding somebody who has their. I think Chip and Joanna handled it right. They went. We ain't even going. Yeah. We're not even going to address I, that. I read the article this morning from what he posted on his on their blog. I read it, and I went, kudos, man. Good job. Good job, Chip. Well done. And Good job, writer. Yeah. Good Whoever job. wrote it. Yeah. Maybe he said it and they wrote it. Yeah. Because they did a good job. But, I mean, that, that's kind of the deal where in this world today, people are... I, you can tell me the worst thing that makes me the worst thing. You know what makes me worse? Facebook makes me mad. You know what Facebook makes me mad? You go in somewhere to get chips and salsa. Mm -hmm. And they're out of salsa. Because they might have had a big rush. Truck might have been late. Something might have happened. You don't even know. And before you can even ask, you go, this place sucks ass because they ran out of salsa. Not knowing salsa might be in 15 minutes. Not knowing what had happened. But you're allowed to voice your opinion and then get defensive if somebody says, shut the hell up. You know what? That same person went to the refrigerator this morning and went, ah, I'm out of milk. And, did, and should have blasted themselves going, this <coughs> stupid ass who didn't go get milk yesterday. That's where I go. As, as soon as we all become <coughs> perfect, God, Facebook will be cool. Please. You watched the same deal I did. Shane Christensen posted it. That's yeah. how I watched it. About it causes depression. Facebook can cause depression. It's they've done studies because it can just bring you down. Yeah. And I tell you what, I, I'm not on it much. I post our stuff. I post ours. <clears throat> I, I scroll through Instagram a little bit more. Snapchat's the new thing. I don't even get on it anymore. Uh, it's it's weird because something else will be out next week. I know. Social media is Instant gratification for people who didn't have friends. You said it yesterday. Hey, dude, let's go to the movies. Nah. What are you doing? Let's go to the movies. Dude, I got this. I got something else to do. We don't. We don't <laughs> have that. We don't have that. I mean, I really do cherish our twenty-four to well, it's still now, but when we were on the road. And we were working, 
Not, not, I'm sorry. When we were on the road pretending like we were working. Yes. Just sorry, Mom. having to do. Yes, sorry, Barbara. Having to talk, having to pull out a map and look at a map, having to back up down I-45 to get off the excess ramp because I didn't want to go down another block. I told this story New Year's Eve. We played a game of chess with no chess pieces. That's exactly right. We wrote the, the, the moves down on a piece of paper, and it, it took us forever Yeah. because we'd have to go back and figure out where things were. Now we'd have just handed the phone and go, hey, you're moving. Yeah, you're moving. It's so, I, and don't get me wrong, I love social media. I love it because it has, it has allowed us to get what we set out to do in making movies. Right. Shooting this morning show. Uh, kind of, I get to send out good quotes. You get to post about the backyard. But I will say, the person on the other end of that phone and new relationships is cool, cool as the other side of the pillow. Oh. You meet them in person and go. I agree with that 100%. You're, you're not that person. Yeah. You're not that clever. Yeah. You're not that sweet because you have no social skills. You're not that person. good looking. Yeah. Because these pictures. <clears throat> Ain't oh, really yeah. these pictures. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a game, and and I get it. But the, the thing with Facebook is, if people would stop posting negative crap and just worry about you, that's what they get off on. Though. Just worry about you. I'm getting off that crap. I'm getting off that negativity. But hey, check Facebook out <laughs> to see <laughs> our next what our next project is, and if you can be in it and all that stuff. Good. That don't I, mean y'all get off of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just the negative people. Good. I want to give a shout out to Hoke. Okay. Because when we first met Hoke, <clears throat> when we first met Hoke was 2009. And we had done the web series for Cowboy and Lucky. Mm -hmm. And we said, and Brad, Mr. Brad Holbrook wrote episode one of the deal. We shot it. We did it. We were like, all right, this is going to be pretty cool. And, of course, he was working. He was busy. Hoke sent us a message that he'd like to visit with us. And he's a writer who worked at uh, Central Freight. Central Freight. And we like, oh, whatever, dude. I know we told the story. We drive to McGregor, and we go out in this little one-room shack, and we're thinking, oh, this guy's going to, you know, drug us and keep Kill us because we're stars. And if you watch his movie, he probably was yeah. thinking that. And I'll be damned. He said, we went, you know what, dude? You want to write something? Just send it over to him. Write us an episode. Get back in the van, drive back. Dude, the next day, it's in our, it's an email. And we read it, and we went, holy crap. Dude can write. He can write. Then he wrote the whole series. Then he wrote Cowboy and Lucky, The Last Stand. Then he wrote Wounded. Right. Which you were... And let me just say this, folks. We have been talking about our Amazon Prime and how the numbers are going up. But that movie has taken off. And thank goodness we changed it from the title McLennan County yeah. to Wounded. Yep. Yeah. I think a lot of it has to do with names now. I really do. But shout out to him for even getting a review. He loves Tarantino. Even getting a review that somebody said, this feels like a Tarantino film. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff we set out. I set out to hear, dude, the action in this was great. You hit, And you out. get that all the time. Yeah, and you set out for the story's good, the, the characters, the drama. And we with, with that with Wounded, and if you haven't seen it, you got Amazon Prime, you go watch it now. You can watch all four of them, but... I and the few negative out. things about it was it's a little too long. Yeah, and guess and we, what? We knew that. We knew it. Knew it from but the beginning. he cut it. He felt like if he cut any more out of it, it would take away from the story, so he didn't cut any more. So it, it's a long one. So, you know, get your blanket. It's going to be cold. Yeah. Get your blanket. Yeah. Curl up. Watch it. That That's my shout <clears> out to <throat> today. Yeah. As we get ready for 2017. So, so, I think that's how they say it. Uh, what else you got today? Uh, after this, I'm going to a meeting over at my with my friends at Action Rental. Right. Because they have a place out in China Springs. They have a place out in China Springs. And that might be the first time I didn't add an S to that. I oh. used to say China Springs. China Springs. Like Springs. there's a bunch of them. Right. But they have a place, and I, I think it's behind their house. It's got a pool. Okay. It's got a deal. It's called Vera Estates. I think I have heard of this. I'm not sure. And the reason I'm going out there is right. trying to set us a date to become with. Not me and you. No, not me and you. Because that church don't believe in it. Right. So if it would, we probably got married a long time ago. Probably would have. Probably. There's a couple other things that would have hindered us. But 
Everybody knows it's coming. Right. Because since 19 and 91 or 92, me and you've been hanging out. Right. And for new watchers, I'm going to tell the story real quick. Tell the story. We worked at a place called Warehouser. Ended up being Paragon Trade Brands. One day, I'm working in the back. I've been there about a week. I, Russell works in the front. You know, you see people walking around. So I, I'm standing in the back door and people come running by. Running out there and there's a car on fire. They're trying to put it out. Smash the window, open it up. Get the hood up, it's on fire. Russell walks up and goes, hey man, what's, go what's going on? I said, oh, there's a car on fire. He went, oh, whose is it? I went, mine. And he went, eh, you need a ride home? I went, I think I'm going to. <laughs> so he gave me a ride home. I had a little R&B yeah. playing on the radio. Ralph Trez Trez Van. Van. Stop. Stop. Ah. That's it right. was our last day. I yeah. said, you listen to that kind of music? He said, yeah. He said, it's our last day. He said, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to come by, pick you up. We'll go find our bud my buddy Gerald, and we'll hang out. And that's how I became buddies with Gerald. Yeah. And we've been friends ever since. So that is about 24 years. Yeah. Actually, maybe a little longer than that. Maybe, maybe 25. A that's a long time. That being said, there's no better man to ask to be my best man than my buddy Russell. So would you be my best man? I sure will, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Now, <laughs> because at my wedding with Stephanie, he was the best man and the maid of honor. Yes. He had to do both. I don't know which one I played best. He did both really well. So, <clears throat> but I am, at first, I will admit, against it. I ain't gonna lie. Didn't care for it. I don't give a crap. I felt like I was the... The LGB, the, the gays, and you were the church. It ain't going to happen that way. That ain't the way it's supposed to happen. But the more I have went, hey, dumbass, this is your life, and that's his life. And I went, you know what? Are you happy? Well, I'm happy. that's what makes good friends, is me and him are able to question each other. And we do it quite often. Yes. And it's not, you have to do it this way. It's, hey, think about this, because I think this way, right? and we give each other time to think about it. Sometimes we agree, sometimes we don't. We did both the same thing. We did both the same thing, and for you people that are having a, a friend, getting a relationship or anything, we did the exact same thing. Chris never questioned Stephanie, I never questioned Brooks. The question was, do not ruin that girl's life. That came from him first to me, and yep. then I threw it back on him. Do not run that girl's life until you are ready to commit. So, he said I didn't have to wear a jacket. Word on the street is, I think I'm going to have to wear a jacket. Probably going to have to wear a jacket. Probably going to have to wear a jacket. Sorry about that, but I tried, I tried. So, But, I the, the color mind. she had picked out wasn't going to work with this color on color. So it, I think she's changing it and whatever. It is her day. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm just involved in it. I agree. So anyway, th thanks, for, thanks for that. Thank uh, you. My buddy Gerald's going to be one. Gary. Gary. I don't know which if he's wearing a dress or what. He could be. Stephanie. Stephanie. She said she ain't wearing a dress. She said that, yeah. But I, Stephanie had me at her, so I think it's only fair that. I like it. Because Stephanie's a go-to person. Yes. And Colin's gonna fly in. Oh, that's so that's freaking awesome! I'll have five. She'll have four. Maybe I'm more popular. I don't know. I think so. I think so. This and show. then she's gonna have her 150, and I'm gonna have my seven. Yeah. And so it might we'll be eight. Wherever you want. Might maybe. Be eight. Maybe. But it's in June. My man boobs will be gone. That's really what I'm gonna be focusing on. So I'm excited about that. Even though it's your day, <clears> I'm excited how good I'm gonna look. And by the way, it is a gangster wedding, which <laughs> means Whizzle. when it's over, come by and hand me. Uh, Envelope full of cash. Like That's that. all I'm hoping for. I like that. So We're going to get out of here. Everybody wishing congratulations. And I'm going to start saying this every time. Watch the show. Like the show. Share the show. That's how I'm going to get out of here. Do that. Until, oh, best of tomorrow. We won't be here tomorrow because it's Friday. He's got payroll. we got a big day going on. 
I will do the best of. You'll get to watch all the shows. And you probably saw it down here. Brisket tacos a day for $8. Drink included. No tax. Woo! Bam! Until tomorrow. Or till Monday. I am Russ. This is Chris. And we are out of here.